So we were talking about multiple reactions and generally we're going to be speaking about the desired product which probably is A plus B give you C, the one you want and there's also maybe in this parallel reaction you know there is also another product D so you want C because it's it has higher value or higher price in the market and you don't want D, this will be the non-desired product because first of all maybe it's not that expensive in the in the market or maybe it's so uh, it costs you a lot to separate this substance so you want to increase at least this to a certain concentration so you have maybe I don't know 50-50 and you know this 50-50 mixture will cost you a lot well why not produce a 99% concentration and 1% concentration and you sell it as it is So we will be talking about this standard or how do we differentiate or how we see or how we measure how the reaction or our reactant is selecting, that's why uh, it's called selectivity, which reaction, reaction number one which give you our desired product or reaction number two which give you the non-desired or undesired. Okay, uh, I'm going to give you the technical term in the next video. But before going that there, I want to show you a small diagram how the plant cost will be, uh, let's say, priced depending on the reactor efficiency. So let's say we have the reactor efficiency. Let's say we have the zero percent will be like super worst conversion, and then you have perfect conversion here. So you will see that, of course, if you have a very pure product, you don't need to spend money in separation. So that's why the curve on separation, the price or the cost on separating that stuff goes down. But to have a very like super powerful reactor that gives you the 100%, you will need to spend or to invest a lot of money. So you want you don't want to spend that much money in the reactor even though it's so cheap to separate it, you want to find the lowest value. And this is not the scope of the course, but just to give you an idea, you want to find the best case scenario in which the reactor costs maybe 50%, a reactor that gives you 50%, and adding the cost of separation will be the best one. Many times, actually, doesn't go this curve, maybe like this, so you need to improve your conversion to 70%. Or maybe it's super expensive to do this product, so you need a 90%, and so on. Or maybe it's so cheap, like it's like super like actually it doesn't cost anything so you will need to choose a super like bad one like maybe 10 percent or so because eventually you need to convert something if you don't convert uh, anything well you have no product but let's say 10 percent and you separate this because it's cost uh, it doesn't cost and you have a very nice product 100 percent and your price of reactor is so low because it's so shitty only achieves 10 percent but the separation cost is zero, so it is actually better or the best opportunity. So we're not going to see that, guys, in this, uh, let's say, course. We're going to see that in plant design. But I just want you to tell you that, in theory, we're going to see how to use this reactor efficiency, how to improve those. And uh, yeah, essentially, it's everything, guys. For the next slide, we're going to apply the actual meaning of selectivity and their equations. What's up guys, it's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other.
Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.